in Excel Magic Tricks 1751, we want to get the last price in a column based on criteria in other columns. This is a classic lookup last formula. If we're looking up a jacket with a medium size, the last price is 32. If I change jacket to sweater, now the last price is 38. So how do we do this with a formula? Well, first off, we have two conditions, and we need to check one, two columns. And then once we isolate just these two numbers, I need the last one. Well, if you don't have Microsoft 365, here's how you do it. And this formula has been around for decades. We first want to check each one of the columns. Hey, all those items in that column, are any of you equal to sweater? And we put it in parentheses because we have two conditions. And we use the multiplication operator when we're running an AND logical test. Now we check inside parentheses. The size column, are any of you equal to medium? Close parentheses. Now if I hit the F9 key to evaluate, I get an array of zeros and ones. Now the way I'm going to approach this is I'm going to do approximate match lookup. And if I give the lookup formula some number that's bigger than any of these numbers, it'll automatically get the last one. But I need to filter out those zeros first. Also notice, the biggest possible number we're ever going to get is 1. Control Z. I'm going to eliminate the zeros by using division. 1 divided by that. Now wait a second. That division will happen before that multiplication operator, so we have to force multiplication to happen first. Now if I hit F9, I'm filtering with divide by zero error. Control Z. Now this is an array formula. And if you don't have Microsoft 365, you would have to use Control Shift Enter to enter this formula. But since we're doing approximate match lookup, I'm going to use the original lookup function, lookup. And it can handle array calculations without a special keystroke. And it only does approximate match lookup. Now for the lookup value, we need to give it some number that's going to be bigger than anything here. Well, 2 is bigger than 1. So that's the lookup value, comma. The lookup vector, that's the array of divide by zeros and ones, comma. And then the result vector, these are the items we're trying to get. So we're using approximate match to always get the last one. When I hit Enter, that is working. If I change this to jacket, bam, 32. Now if you have Microsoft 365, we can use the XLOOKUP function. But we still have the problem. We're looking up two items. No worries in lookup value. I'm going to join these using the join operator. So jacket and medium. That's the new lookup value, a single value, comma. Lookup array, we'll put in that column and join it to the size column. So now XLOOKUP will find a match in there, comma. The return array, comma. And if not found, I'm going to put none. So if there's no match, it'll return none, comma. The default is exact match, which is what we want. So I'm going to skip over this comma. And this is the argument where we can select search last to first. So we put minus 1, close parentheses. And that's our formula. When I hit Enter, I get 32. When I change it to sweater, bam, they're both working. And if we change medium to large, well, look at that. The X lookup had that argument that allows us to specify what to put in the cell if it's not available. Control Z. Now, I timed both of these formulas, and there really wasn't a difference between the two. So I want to hear what you guys think. Do you like the old school lookup function, or do you like X lookup? All right, if you like that video, be sure to click that thumbs up, leave a comment, and subscribe, because there's always lots more videos to come from Excel is Fun. All right, we'll see you next video.